On to continuing coverage now in Port Wentworth. Tonight, the city had its first council meeting after confusion about whether it would even take place. It comes after resignations and allegations of a hostile work environment. WSAB's Brian Gallagher was in Port Wentworth and tells us tempers flared all throughout the meeting. Thursday night, four members of the Port Wentworth City Council gathered for a regular scheduled meeting that the mayor had previously canceled after the resignation of the city attorney. Mayor Gary Norton was not present. Neither was former mayor and current councilor Glenn Jones. And so you will know we have contacted Councilman Jones and our Mayor Norton, and still, as of today, since the 27th of January, we have not heard. Not one phone call returned, not one text message returned, not one email returned. Council members appointed a new interim city manager, Steve Davis, and Scott Robichaud as the city attorney. Many residents who attended questioned the legitimacy of what was happening without a full council and the mayor present. The new appointments tonight were illegal. This was not a legitimate meeting. They appointed city staff that was not supposed to be appointed. It should have been done in regular session council. More frustration came when council members tried to pass new council rules and procedures without explaining the reasons behind them. There's no city attorney present. There is no attorney? No. no you are not going to blast through this like this. You are not going to do it. There's a call for a vote. Regular. This is smoke and mirrors, man. This is smoke and mirrors. This, this meeting actually should not have taken place. Mayor Gary Norton told News 3 by phone that he didn't attend because he said it's not a legal meeting. The mayor acknowledged that he hasn't communicated with the four members of council who attended the meeting and has no intention of doing so because he says what they are doing to the city is wrong. Reporting in Port Wentworth, Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side. And Mayor Norton also told us tonight that he has contacted the Attorney General's office twice for help with this matter. He's hoping they will intervene. City Hall is still only offering drive-through services at this time.